Grand Ages Medieval on the PlayStation 4. You can see the story so far, I should just mention that. We're getting ready to uh, go to an escort near the city of Constanza, which is on the Black Sea, the west shore of the Black Sea. So you get to see the story so far, you know, whatever. Like I said, slow the, slow the video down if you want to read that. We usually skip cutscenes on the channel if we can help it. A couple of things I should mention. We're, we're at war again because this is the story, uh, the campaign here requires that we be at war with South Italy. Fine. Whatever. So there's no trade uh, agreement with these guys anymore. I'm trying to get some more... Uh, trying to get some more bread. Some more grain down here, so we'll take care of that shortly. We also uh, updated our trade route here. We have our roving trade route. I forgot to rename them. Or at least I did, but I restarted my game save and I forgot to rename this character, so let's set that up. Units. Yeah, I was calling him a rover. Can I change the name? Not that one. Civilian. Uh, the one that holds 200? Yeah, the one that holds 200. Wait, is he... Hmm. Just a second. Bessem. That's his name. If we see Basim around here somewhere... Yeah, that guy. So if you rename him... I called him a rover last time. I, mean, I guess we can call him a... Wheel? The trading... I don't know what to call him. We'll call him a rover again. Well, he's technically not roving, but we'll call it. So he's the guy who's on he's the guy who's on the rotating trade routes. Okay? And uh, you can't see the layout here. Uh, let's see. The trade route literally goes from Wool Honey, which we renamed. It used to be called Wool. We called it Wool Honey, down to Thessaloniki, out to our capital, Sofia, out here to Norden, to Budapest, and back. So that's how I currently have it set up. We'll press left and right on the D-pad to go to our route settings. We're emphasizing that Wool Honey should be a... Remember, this is... The, wool Honey is, is like a, the beginning and the end of the route. So the idea is, is that Wool Honey needs bread. They need bread no matter what. So hopefully that'll be part of the deal here. That's our regular dude. So we're just following along. Well, I guess we'll, we might not buy anything in Thessaloniki. Let's find out. Yeah, we'll skip ahead of them. Okay, so we're headed down here. We're going to dump some uh, grain over Let's here. See. Whoops. Uh, I put the wrong... Did I put the wrong person? Got to activate the route. Wait, wrong guy? Oh, yeah, that guy. There's the rover. So I can't trade anything here, right? Press down. Yeah, I can't... Oh, I can, okay. But he's still on his route, so let him do his thing. Yeah, he will be out. So we'll dump all this grain. Happy to oblige. Whoops. Back on the route. You, on the other hand, L1 going here. Sell all that crap. So we have to dump a bunch more, um, bunch more grain over here. So we'll set that up. Uh, bought a bunch of this sheep. Sell that linen. I want to say I got this in Athens, I forget. We'll sell that later. So basically, we need, we need more uh, grain, so we'll send that over here. We'll drop by Thessaloniki to take care of that. The town near me is under sea Siege is... Uh, wool Honey? Yep, Wool Honey's under siege. See where the soldiers are. We'll probably have to go down there. Let's see if we can get the soldiers down here in the meantime. We had some soldiers over here, but I'm not in the mood to deal with them. Uh, yeah, we had a. Yeah, we were gonna step an escort over here, but now it sounds like a bad idea. Let's zoom in up here. I went over here. I believe there's a veteran right here, but he can't join our party. There were some yellow uh, circles here with some characters we picked up. So our troop strength was at 67 over 100. See if I can mention that here. Uh, military units. This unit right here, fighting power, what was it? Yeah, it was that troop size. It was that 67 over 100. We took care of that. Veteran level, morale, supply insured, wages per week. The idea is that we were able to pick up some extra troops. 
So let's head down here and see what we can do. Probably won't get there anytime soon. That's where we're going. Yep, dispatch out here. They get the traders out of here. Uh, dispatch. So much running about. He's on his way, one hopes. Yeah, he's on his way. Okay, well, you, on the other hand... The town's under siege. Am I not allowed to actually... Um, hold on. Yeah, it's under siege. So th the traitor can't leave. Uh, we'll probably have to drop Wool Honey from the list while it's under... Uh, yeah. Traitor. Oh! Oh, that was the rovers! Okay, so the roving trade route's out of commission. Okay, so watch how we do this. We'll do this manually, don't worry. Let me see if I can select them. Trackpad, units and towns. Rover. Can't trade. Yeah, we can. Okay, we can trade. Okay, so we're gonna buy some fruit. I'm not gonna buy that. Wool. We don't have any more room. Let's see if we can get out of here. Yeah, the trade route's cut off. Exquisite. Yeah, so the trade route's cut off. We, I guess we can we can reset it up without wool, honey, for now. Uh, let's see. Route settings. Yeah, there we go. That's the problem. Town cannot be reached. So we have to skip it. So we've skipped it. So basically this trade route only goes to Thessaloniki. So it's like a train station that's been cut off, which makes sense, I guess. Okay, Thessaloniki. L1, over there. Trip of the town. Uh, we're gonna buy some fish, I guess. We gotta sell this. Uh, sell the linen. Well, more linen, at least. A good price for wool. Uh, let's see. So we can't get to wool, honey. So we can sell this other stuff anywhere. Whatever. Fur. Sell that elsewhere. Buy the meat, of course. Okay, so now we're going up north. Sit. And we have our troops on their way. We'll see how that goes. Are we really under siege? Maybe we are. Yeah, we're losing people. That's the problem. Um... Start tips. Where's the siege part? You're trying to teach me something, obviously. Sieges. True comes in the range of town. I'll make a siege at the town's teaching hour. Start to count down. Once routes will be zero, the town's people will surrender and join the attacker's empire. If you have the attack value of the besieging troop, the less time the siege will require. Siege counter functions in the same way as hit points of troops, corresponds to the endurance of a town. The more inhabitants, the further along its office has been upgraded to a fort. Really? I didn't do that yet. As soon as there are no longer any hostile troops in the range of town, the counter will start to recover automatically. A troop will abort the siege the moment it is attacked. Okay. This advice the attack will continue the siege. By upgrading the building as a fort, you can provide town with the ability to defend itself, which we have not done. Towns are being fed, and also come under siege to be captured. Okay, we're not going to do that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. You, sir, are going down here to attack this doofus. Do yeah, he's going over there. Um... Thessaloniki, you still moving? Yep, it's on now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the rover's still moving around. Give him, a, let him do his thing. He has to reactivate the route. The route we changed. Oh, is the siege over? I said skip wool, honey. Just go ahead. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, we might not survive this. Okay, so we have we have resources here. Wow, floor is really strong. Look at that, three two K on their siege counter. Okay, uh, we have someone else here, right? Yeah, L one. 
I guess we're gonna buy crap. We can't give it to Wool Honey. That's the problem. We can't give anything to Wool Honey. Selling beer, selling meat. You might be able to dump a bunch of stuff on their uh, in their town. Yeah, not selling that. Uh, I guess we're giving them some grain. If someone has too much grain, we can just buy it back from them. That's perfectly fine. We have too much stuff. Let's go. Let's Sit. freaking go! We'll sell some stuff and buy some more while we're out. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. Whoop, they give up. Yeah, they split off, dude. <laughs> they split off. <laughs> they know what's up. Alright, so that's what's going on. Here with the town. Uh, buy some more meat, I guess. We don't have any room. We gotta sell some stuff. Uh, sell that. It's a good price for that. Uh, not selling wheat here. We'll sell it. We'll sell it. We'll sell it. In, we'll sell it down south, and then sell the rest back here. We'll sell it in Sun Wool Honey. Uh, we're gonna buy. Ooh, we could sell more. You wanna buy meat? Meat's always good. Fish we sell for forty dollars a unit. G unit. Yeah, I'm gonna buy fish. With the, fill up the cart with some fish. That's easy money. Sit. Oh, you gotta reinforce. Reinforce. Is he still fighting? Yeah, he knows what's up. Uh, let's see. Mercenary. So let's see if we can, re see if we can reinforce. Oh, we'll have to go to the Sophie. We have to go to a barracks and Sophia to reinforce. It looks like, which is fine. We'll send them back down here eventually. Is the war over? <laughs> I guess not. Let's see if we can get a peace treaty going. So much running about. Uh, here. Dump it. It's a real good price for that. He has to dump it. Whatever. We'll get more while well, we're just dumping everything. Yeah, we have too much now, but we're fine. Sell here for 40 a pop. So again, the, four, the profit is $40 a unit because we bought for 60 That's how you do it. Got to sell this fur somewhere else. Sell the meat. I'm going to buy that. Buy that. Do we need bricks? No, we don't need bricks. I mean, we'll take them, but we don't need them. Do soldiers need them? Yeah, the, the soldiers need bricks. And they need fruit, obviously. But, I mean, they'll be, well, they'll be replenished, I guess. Okay, I've got to send them, send them back, send them back. Uh, press right on the D-pad to Thanks reinforce. So and you... L1... Trade in town... So we don't need we don't need any more wheat, but we can sell some more here before we get attacked again. Uh, office, open office. You resist the siege twenty five percent longer. Requires ten k, which I have. Requires bricks, which I don't have, and requires metal parts, which I don't have. They are sold in split. I want to say the town of split. Ooh, that's right. Also had um. Development. Got to account for this. Okay, I can buy metal wares like this. I can uh, use I can use coal to make pottery. Meat needs salt to preserve it, so that's what the butchery is for. But we don't have the only place to get salt is Taranto right now, and that's in South Italy. We can't get there. It's in the boot of Italy, basically. Actually, Taranto is in the boot heel of Italy. And we can uh, we can make pastries using grain and honey, both of which we have. A metal smith metal wares are very hard to find. Very few towns sell them, so we might as well make one of these. Um, require metals and coal, which we we create metals and coal in our in our three domestic towns. So we'll use our develop one of these development points for that. Uh, raw materials will be expanded to include deeper levels, of, uh, increases the production output of mines by one barrel and coal mines by two barrels a week, which is fine. Cloth is needed to make clothing. Hugo Weaving. 
Production of green will be increased by 50% for each business. Uh, where do we actually produce wheat? That I don't know. Uh, doubles the production of grain. Which just sounds good on its own. We could just make pastries. If we, if we're willing to build a bakery, I suppose. Let's see, pottery. We can make pot pottery is very rare too, as we can use it to make money. By the way, what's in our infrastructure? Construction yard, speed up construction, storage, stor storage tech. Sounds like a good idea, actually. So we can build an office, but we need metal parts to build an office, and that's why we're building the. Uh, metal parts right here. What's this? Uh, production of timber metalwares would be doubled and extracted metal would be increased. Extracted metal, whatever that means. Demand for raw materials will increase proportionally, obviously. Uh, let's see. Graduation towers. It's salt. More salt can be extracted. Production of salt will be tripled. Demand for timber. I guess I need way more timber. Uh, we need some bathrooms. Breeding of bees. Honey production will be tripled. Workshop requires pottery and metal. But you need this to unlock it, okay. This is Weaver's in double production. You can make tailored outfits, but we have to go through this to get it. Livestock farming. Production of fur will be doubled. Coal mining. That's at the end of that tree. Sheep breeding doubling wool production. So we have salt. I guess we can make clothing. So we're making more we're making more materials. Yes now we can do that. So basically we're making new materials at this point and that's fine for now. Infrastructure. I probably should have built this earlier. Yeah, we already have that. That's locked. But we have to research this. New route type manual for trade routes through which the actual values for the trade... Oh! Oh, okay. That makes things a bit more interesting. Hmm. Uh, officer, send free workers from one town to another. Sounds good. I might do that. Uh, defense towers outside of town. Okay, uh, road construction. Trading road to trading streets that make the streets faster. Cobble streets to make it even faster than that. Mortar's construction. Church architecture, build chapels and moss. Those will be necessary eventually, I guess. I'm, I don't want to buy too much, then the game's going to make me uh, get more. Maybe they'll give me more development points for free. I don't know. Uh, town planning. Maximum number of citizens in towns with a church or a mosque will be 15k. Capacity of all existing carts. Of all existing and every new cart is double. That's cool. Traders don't take half the time to trade. Why does that matter? Take that. Alright, so we'll come back. Military. We might need this later, I guess. It allows barracks to be expanded with a shipyard and port town. Port towns! Okay, so we're going to... Eventually the game's going to make us build a port town. All towns and cities located next to the ocean and the Black Sea possess a harbor. Well, the Mediterranean is in an ocean. Well, the Black Sea is in an ocean. Then again, neither there is no ocean here. There's only the Adriatic Sea, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Black Sea. And, of course, the Caspian Sea, which isn't a sea, it's a lake. So we have, there is no ocean in this game, technically. We're not going to nitpick about that sort of thing. Geography. There's a little geography. A uh, little geography humor. Uh, sell first. Already on the way. Uh, storms going through town. Trade with town. Sell first. Sell more first than that. Uh, we can buy more meat while we're here. This is easy money. Fine. So we're gonna fill the we're gonna fill the cart with fish. Yeah, we can't we're not allowed to buy a lot of that. There's never enough meat in stock. So we're gonna fill the cart with that. Yeah, we'll take it out. 
Going to Sophia. That's not possible. Stop. I don't know if the full carts move slower. Maybe it gets something to test. Here, trade with the town. Sell the fish. Sell more fish. Sell the rest later. Uh, trade fur. Sell the rest later. Ah, sell the meat, obviously. Okay, so we're buying. I bought too much fish. I always buy too much fish. One of the cart with a uh, wheat. Sir. Oh yeah, soldiers. Uh, they're still replenishing. We'll send them back to town later. So they'll, they'll uh, fight off any uh, any siege uh, any seizures, I suppose. What do you, I don't know what you call people who try to who who do you call people who try to siege a town or something? I don't know what to call those guys. We'll worry about them later. Yeah, I guess we can do the uh, escort eventually. Well, here they come again. No, it's not them. They'll come eventually. That's where we're going. Wait, where are they? He's going the wrong way. Just stay here and go back to town. And if someone should join us? He's almost done. You, on the other hand, L1. Switch. So Thessaloniki needs a bunch of stuff. Can't buy more meat yet. We're not selling wheat here. We'll sell it here, then sell it to Thessaloniki. Already on the way. I guess we can go to Athens. Wouldn't be out of the question. Okay, sell the wheat. Like I said, it's a real good price for wheat. Sell the whole thing. Screw. We paid so little for it. Okay. So everything else is just, you know, whatever price. Sell that. Uh, buy some honey eventually. Sell first. Uh, nope. We'll sell wool, we'll be fine. Okay, in the meantime, our soldiers should be ready. So I guess I can just set up like a regular... We don't need any more. We'll just sell the rest of the, sell the, rest of the wheat over here. Happy to oblige. Don't complicate things. Okay, soldiers. Over here. Going here. If, if we get interrupted, we're going back over there. Do we have to? Stop whining. Get moving. That's the Niki. L1. Okay, we're selling the rest of this. Good enough. We're buying that fish. We'll sell the rest of this in Athens. I uh, can't buy any more meat yet, really. Go down to Athens and sell the rest of this crap. Exquisite. Okay, we're almost there. Good. So we'll take care of them. Athens. Here. I don't. I, mean, I won't micromanage so much in the future. I don't expect to. Sell fish. Good enough. Uh, we'll be buying while we're here. Could, we could buy linen. Well, that's a lot of linen. Buy the beer. Not all of it. We can sell that for at least 100 a unit. We can fill up the cart with this. Anything else? Nope, we're out. Already on the way. And you, sir. So we're here automatically. Uh, am I supposed to escort them? Got to build another town? Over here. Investigate location. There we go. Yes. So there will be uh, people fighting here. Oh, they're gonna attack us. Okay, that's what's going on. Never mind. We can always replenish over here. I guess you're in the tent. 
And uh, who's next? Yeah, I got Thessaloniki. We'll sell some of this crap. L1, square. Um, we're going to buy fish while we're here. Sell that. It's easy money. That's how much we bought it for. Probably shouldn't have sold it here, but that's okay. They should have sold it here. That's stupid. Buy more meat. Uh, buy more fish. Yeah, we're buying fish. Okay, over here. Sit. At least they're not bothering to attack us anymore. Okay, we're gonna buy some honey. We got way too much honey now. Sell fish. I guess we're buying beer. Sell meat. Sell linen. More linen. Sell the rest of that later. Um, sell that later. So we're buying honey that we can sell for a hundred, right? So yeah, sell the first. Gotta find a place to sell these first. It's driving me nuts. Guys, I sell, I sell up north. Sell it up north. It'll be fine. We paid enough for it. I guess we can sell. We can sell it another time. Okay, we sell the rest of these up north. Um, coal. Well, buy wool, of course. At that price. Okay, we're full. Up north. Exquisite. Wait. Where's the agent? Oh. Just a second. Where's the agent? Oh, go to Sophia. Sophia, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Stupid. Over here. He's gonna get attacked over here, obviously. Let's be honest. <laughs> no one. Square. So any more furs? Not really. Buy more meat. Sell more of these. It's a good enough price. Sell wool. More. Yeah, more. Uh, I'm gonna buy more fish. Okay, we're gonna go some. We're gonna go uh, to one of the other towns in the map. No reason to hang out over here. More meat? Nope. This little Niki loves us. Uh, we are going to Sophia. We'll With circle pleasure. back around. We'll go to Split eventually. What? What? So we got auto load. Okay, so I thought I thought I thought the agent was with me. Did I just lose her? Maybe I lost her. That wouldn't be out of the question. Good old fashioned escort mission, eh, kids? Here she comes. So we'll deal with her when she gets here. Uh, let's see who's next. Okay, over here, L1. Let's see. Everyone's favorite part of a video game, freaking escort missions. So, we're gonna buy that, I guess. Yes, we're gonna buy that. You have enough room to stuff fish on top. That's pretty much what that's about. Already on the way. Going to Sophia. Now you need a follower, that's the problem. We got a follower. That's where we're going? Okay, there we go. So we're going to Sophia. That's where we're going. So basically, don't lose her. Yeah, that's it. Whoop. I don't see an escort yeah, mission, to. technically. I'm gonna babysit this thing. Like Leon and Leon and Ashley in Resident Evil 4, right? Okay, we're gonna buy a bunch of this. Or what are we selling? Yeah, we can sell furs. We'll be fine. Sell meat. Sell linen. That's a real good price for linen. Uh, what are we buying? Fruit. No, we're gonna buy. We're buying fruit to sell, right? Yeah, we're buying fruit to sell, and we're selling the rest of the stuff elsewhere. 
How much should we how much should we make on metals? Forty on that. We'll make sixty on fruit. We'll check and see how much the metals are worth later. We're gonna make sixty dollars a unit on fruit, so I'm not gonna complain about that. Going to split. They're poor, but they'll take our money. Okay, you. Oh, damn. Oh, here we go. Swordsman. That's where we're going. Take them. Uh, ooh, we're gonna die. Wow, it's not gonna go well for us. We could flee. Yeah, I guess we could flee. Flee. Yep, we're fleeing. Yes, that's how you do that. So we won. Okay. That was a trick. So I was just being dumb. What mission an agent of the Empress could have for him. But as Leon Chapter two Got laid. Wait, what? We shall deal with Varnus together. Death what? <laughs> what just happened? However, your family is respected. You only require the right title in order to have yourself heard by the senators. If you can meet them as equal, she had the rank of baron in order to be accepted as an equal by the senators. We have the rank of finding more towns. So we gotta expand. Okay, fine. You shall control this particular area. The sum of all areas you control is the yardstick by which success is measured. Hence, the larger a town is, the greater the number of territory you control. So, a town with 10,000 citizens controls twice the area of newly found towns. Improve your progress, how far away you are from the next rank in the dialog box. Your empire. I got laid. That was literally the achievement. Get laid. It just happened. <laughs> uh, all food in Taranto is destroyed by a plague of rats. All production is at a standstill during a storm, which makes sense. Town saved, fight lost while I ran away. Does that count as losing? Let me check on something. Can't see the campaign. Yeah, the campaign's not missing. The campaign's completely missing. That's messed up. My empire. Uh, let's see. So that's my rank down there, underneath the shield. 2077, is that what that means? Let's find out. Hold L2. Current territory, so we need to build more towns, which makes sense. We lost a lot of money, as you would expect, because we produced a bunch of stuff that cost us money. I want to know what the whole get laid thing was about. Now I'm all confused. Um, regions. Remember, we're, we're Wakanda, purple and black. Uh, we have Greece. Wait, what are we technically? We're the Balkans. That's what we are. And Warsaw is technically not in Poland, which I find amusing. Uh, let's see. We're Germany. We found, remember, we made it to, um, what do you call it? We made it to Nuremberg. Italy. So eventually we'll be able to get to Tur the rest of Turkey. Worry about that. Oh, this is bi oh, this is uh, this is in Greece. This is a Byzantium, which makes a bit more sense. The Caucasus and Arabia, with Russia, Kiev, which is technically the Ukraine, and of course Poland again. We can go all the way out to Britannia, huh? Development. How are we doing? Well, I guess we'll come back for that later. So I guess we have to found a new town. Is that how we're gonna have to do this? That's where we're going to do a quick game save. Bank all of our progress here. So again, I guess I'll do another uh, playthrough where I just kind of burn through all the campaigns so I can kind of establish what the rules are. Sort of a uh, less hand-holdy, more of a speed-runny kind of playthrough, I suppose. Because I don't mind playing through campaigns multiple times to kind of get more efficient at them. I'm totally cool with that. Like knowing I'm going to be attacked, taking people out before they attack our city, that kind of thing. Knowing there's a war coming, doing all the trading you can, that kind of thing. L1. Okay, so we're selling furs. Can't sell the furs here. Sell the fish, definitely. Uh, plenty of fruit here. Uh, we're gonna buy wine here, I guess. 
we're gonna buy the metals. Because they're so rare, you gotta buy them here. I mean, you don't have to, this is a good idea. So we can make up we need to make our towns bigger and found new ones. And we're gonna need lumber. By the way, if we're gonna expand, where are we expanding to? Do we wanna expand in that direction? Where are our soldiers? There they are. I need metal tools. So I gotta sell the metal tools here, I guess. But they're gonna be used. So maybe I can ask someone for metal tools. Like, as part of an offer, I can trade them a bunch of lumber for metal tools, I guess. So we need to control more territory, which means towns have to get bigger and we need more of them. So we'll get to that. All towns. Hold L2. Production in 10 weeks. Consumption over 10 weeks. So basically we're producing less than our consumption, so that's why that's in red. It's in orange, basically. So we're not producing enough coal based on what we consume. So what I recommend is... Where's our coal? It's in wool honey. So we can uh, build another business here in wool honey to take care of that. Coal pit. So to build this, we're going to need more bricks. Okay. So we'll set this up. We'll come back and do another video because we need to start doing some actual production. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We'll set, we'll set the table and end the video. That's fine. Then we'll do a more optimal run later. I'm not recording commentary. I just want to give you some idea about how I'm making these decisions here as I go. I'll do things the wrong way first, then do them the right way. What's cheap? Cheap and rare. Wine. Uh, not fur. Cheap and rare. Metal tools. We've already bought them out. Then they'll start complaining that we're taking away their good supply. Um, metals. You can buy metals for 53. You can sell them for at least 100, if not 143, I want to say. So you can't make a decent amount of money on that. Wine you can sell for 200 so it's like $80 a unit based on this price. Yeah, well, we can fill up, we can fill up the tank. <laughs> we can fill up the cart with uh, wine. That's fine. That sounds bad, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, soldiers. Up. Uh, where do we want to go first? Remember the sawtooth. So do we want to explore out here? Near uh, Constanta? Or do we want to explore out here near Venice? Because if we explore out here, we can get these stone circles. We can get these goodies over here. Uh, which might be. So I guess we should explore out near Zagreb. Problem is, I don't know where all the materials are. Like, there's no way to know when materials are being built until we create a settler. That's the other thing we have. we got to create a settler. So let's do that. So we're going to do some business, and we're going to create a settler. And we have the most lumber here. This, we're gonna, this, this will uh, get the settler built. Uh, we need to recruit a settler. It's the only, it's the only city that has a, um, an inn anyway. So to create a settler, we need uh, 20 pints of beer. We don't have any beer? The, ga the game will ask for beer. So we have all the bricks in the world. The easiest way to do this is to increase your rank. Recruit. Yeah, I guess we got another free worker. So we need more free workers. So that means we need to build a business. Okay, this this guy's talking, but there are no subtitles. I don't know what to tell you. So we can build a new business. We can build. We can build this obviously, but we don't need any more lumber. We don't need any more bricks. Can we build metal? How do we build metal? Let's see if we can build another town. That chapel town can I host more than 3k? You have 1600. Monastery doubles the maximum amount of free workers. Significantly reduces the duration of plagues. But we need a... We need a chapel first. Workshop. Increase the speed of all work. It hasn't been unlocked either. Statue. But you need 10k first. And it reduces the duration of fires. So this is like civilization. Random upgrades give you buffs and debuffs. and They give you buffs and such. Warehouse, you can specify commodities for resale. The trade route's going to be able to deliver greater coins than the town that requires for its own needs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, do we have a new building we wanted to create? Yeah, where's the, uh, we have, we don't have coal here. I thought we had the ability to transfer free labor from other towns. Just a second. So we need more free workers. Required workers. And we have 60 to get, so we don't have beer either. We'll get more beer. It's not the issue. Offers. Greetings. Are you interested? Okay, we can we can do this too. So you can offer me salt. What do I need? I need metal. And I have plenty of fruit. Metal wares are well, they're very rare. You got to go outside of town and buy. We got you got to spend we got to spend twenty. How much do you have to spend? Metal wares cost at least two hundred and fifty dollars if we buy them in split. So we're gonna spend. 11 fruits are worth $44 a pop. 11 fruits are worth $444 to buy one metal wares. So that's a bit too expensive, quite frankly, but whatever. Uh, that's way too expensive. Fruits. We don't have any beer here, surprisingly. We need more beer. We'll, we can get more beer here. Okay, so for fruits. 217 fruits will give you metal wares. We really don't need metal wares, frankly. Shane. Thank you for the trade. Okay. How about wool? This is how it should be. I guess we're out of our metal, we're out of metal wares. Um, I guess we'll worry about the rest later. For a fee, you can send free workers. That's it. For a free, you can send free workers to this town to another, so they're available for the labor market. Oh, send them. We want them here. That's how long it takes, too. Yeah, we want them here. We don't want to send them anywhere. We want them here. We don't have an inn here either. And we need bricks. Okay, the point is that we need bricks for everything. Because we weren't building anything, so I guess we didn't need any bricks. Uh, let's see, so what do we want? So we need more labor, so we need, we need to buy more. So we need to build more businesses here. Who has the most bricks? Sophia. Right? Yep, so we can send bricks elsewhere, but we need to, we need to build stuff here. Just a second. Trade. Uh, we're producing too much of everything. So we need to start selling stuff. Which is fine. Fine, 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 fine. So we need beer. So who's got beer? You have beer up there, right? Uh, wrong person. We need a trader. Okay, we need a trader. You. So we need beer. Wine is there. The beer is south of us, I want to say. Yeah, this, the beer is in wool, honey. So we need beer and bricks. So send the bricks down there. Wait, we have a dude here in Split we need to take care of first. Okay. Go with the town. Uh, we got to sell a bunch of fur eventually. So we got to go to Zagreb in Venice and sell it. Uh, let's see. We're going to buy metalwares, right? No, we're, we've already done all this. We've done all of this. Sell fur here. Happy to oblige. We'll take care of the bricks in a second. X. So we need more beer. We need way more beer. So we know we know who needs it. What does this red symbol mean? Yeah. So we can't build a trader without. Not the trader. You, sir, we need more beer and more... We need... Wow, we have no free workers. Is that what that is? So we need to build another business. What business should we build? We don't need any more lumber. This is absurd. Second. Select production. 
but that should be used to replace an existing... Okay, that's good. So instead of making metals, we can make this. And instead of using cloth... So we can replace wool production with that, okay. So my argument is we don't need any more fruit. Like, we don't need any more lumber here, I guess. Like, what are we making here that we don't really need? We can switch production types. So we have... We can, we can always go... We can always... We don't want to get rid of the building. Oh, uh, we have... So we have lumber down there. And that's fine. Lumber... So we have lumber in two places. We have bricks in one place, coal in another. So we can afford to get rid of lumber and replace it with something else, like... We have metal here. What do we have in two locations? We have fruit in two locations. So we can stop growing fruit here. So let's set this up. Greetings. Do you wish to play? No. Uh, let's see. Set production. Press the triangle button to select production. So we're gonna cut off the fruit. We're gonna cut off the fruit. We have to demolish the bits. So we don't want to do that. So we can replace that, replace that. I guess we can do this somewhere else, so try this. We'll replace this here. So we don't need, well we already have fruit here. Triangle to select production. So if we're already doing wool here, we can do that. Place an existing production. So I can't replace an existing production? Because I don't want to get rid of the businesses. Yeah, I don't know how to replace production now. Deselect another commodity that requires meadows. You mean like this? That might be the problem. We can't just switch so easily, can we? Huh. So that makes things a bit that makes it makes things a lot more complicated then. We don't I don't want to demolish any businesses right now. Okay, so we're gonna need another business. Uh, what do we have what do we need more of? I guess we need more fish. More honey. Honey it is. So we'll use some of these bricks. We don't have a lot of bricks, we're using them for this. And, uh, any other trader down? Where's our trader? Oh, wait, he's stuck over here. Sorry, forgot about that. Zagreb. L1, square. Sell any more. Can't sell any of this freaking fur. Everyone has too much fur on the market. We gotta store it somewhere else, I guess. Um, which one would be terrible? It's just, I wanna store it in one of our cities. That might be the way, that's gonna be the way we do this. Uh, let's see. Don't need any wine. Buy, you can buy clothing here. We can sell the metal wares here, but we want these down south. We want them in our city. So we'll sell them in our city. Uh, what are we buying here? We could buy coal. Yeah, we don't have enough room on the cart. We don't have room enough room for the cart. We don't have enough room in the cart for this crap. Okay, fine. Nope, nope. Gotta sell this frickin' crap. Go to Venice. Uh, let's see, you, sir. Oh, yeah, we can't leave Venice. Oh, because that's the nearest town. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. So that's, that's what determines where we can go. We could just ban these guys, and then so we can get the free workers back. We'll worry about that later. Um, can we go over here. Let's go. Well, so we can unfog the map with this guy then. We can unfog the map with this guy. Uh, Venice over here. Here with the town. Sell the first. Yes leave some behind. We'll sell the rest of these somewhere else. Okay, uh, we have honey. We can buy honey back home. Um, sell wine. 
Yes, now we have room to buy something cheap and rare. Well, that's too expensive. Um, fill up the cart with linens. Not full yet. Buy more honey? We're gonna sell it anyway, so yeah, we're just stuff we're stuffing it in the cart. We don't care. We don't give a what? Sit. We'll sell that later. Uh, you sir, building squad, down here. Went the wrong way, dude. Show him away. Yeah, we'll zigzag around. We'll be fine. Okay, uh, you in Rome yet? No, he's, he's going the long way around. Gosh darn it. He's going. Yeah, that's right. We haven't unfogged the map, so we can't go from Venice to Rome quickly. Put him in the wall, honey. This is absurd. Already on the way. Yes, yeah, so we'll get here. How's he gonna get here? That makes things interesting. Is he gonna go through Thessaloniki? Yeah, I don't know how he's gonna get there. Okay, you go over here. That way. We're almost there. Yep, over here. Show me the way. And uh, let's see. Um. No, this is a sol yeah, the so duh, send the soldier somewhere. L2, L1. You send the soldier somewhere. Um, we don't need any more crap. We have plenty of veteran status. Um, we need to expand the sawtooth. Go here. Uh, ruins. Might not be anything here to see. Here are the ruins. So much running about. Stop whining. Uh, let's see. Where's he? There's the port. That's Saloniki. There's your port. All right, which is on the ocean. So it's a, it's a port city. It makes sense. It's a port city. Uh, wait, go back to Thessaloniki. Go back to Thessaloniki. Over here. Already on the way. Okay, you sir. That so there's nothing else out here, huh? Let's go. I think we found something. Or a trumpet might be one. It might be this thing. Yeah, it might be the fact that we arrived. Um, sell the fruit for a hundred. That's forty dollars a unit. That's straight, straight profit. And so we bought that for eighty. We sold for fifty-four, uh, fifty-four, fifty-four dollars a unit in profit. Should we sell the rest of this? Not really. We'll sell the rest down south. Buy that meat. Always have to buy meat. Way too valuable to let go. We gotta sell this land somewhere else. Uh, let's see. We're gonna buy fish. Fill up a fish. Fill up a fish. Then we'll sell them down south. Exquisite. Okay, who's next? Okay, mercenary. That's so where we're going. Attack the cave. Okay, we're gonna beat the bears. Duh, bears. We can't, yeah, we can't attack a shipwreck. Okay, so that's done. Uh, you, build squad, can't go anywhere else. So we've already unfogged this part of the map, we're fine. Um, yeah, we can't unfog that part of the map. So we need soldiers to unfog, we can, no, the soldiers can't go any further than, the soldiers can't advance out here until we build a city out here. So we're probably gonna end up building a city, um, North of Venice, I guess. I kind of want a port city. I guess we can build a port city out here in Constanta. I just wanted the idea of being able to explore this area. We'll see how it goes. I'll think about it. Once I get a settler set up, we'll start. We'll worry about that when the time comes. Okay, uh, let's see. Send the build unit back. Can you expand a road? Because we don't need to build any other... Actually, no, we need to build a road to Warsaw. But we can't go to Warsaw because it's too far away. That's the other problem. There's no reason to go out there. We can still trade out there, I think. We, we, that's right. We already set up a trade route out there. So we'll send our uh, build, build unit out here. All 
I can't do that here. There we go. Build road. So, first town. Second town. So, we'll connect to Budapest. And I guess we can set up a spur that goes to uh, Nuremberg, I guess. So, I guess the idea is we don't want to go from Warsaw to Nuremberg yet. But this road's going to be... Free? Okay, not complain. Choice. It's a free road, huh? And build another road from here to Nuremberg, which is free. It's a free road. I'm not complaining. A good choice. Do this all day. Expand, extend the road. Uh, how much is this road? Add section for free. No. It costs four metal parts and a bunch of bricks. So we'll come back and do that later. Cancel. Uh, extend the road. So we can't extend. Oh, we need to. We have to unfog this area. It's absurd. Um, build squad, go over here. Let's go. So then we can unfog the area. There we go. So now we can expand the road. It's stupid, but here we go. Uh, Budapest. That's going to work. That's a bridge, right? Yeah, that's a bridge. We need metal. We need metal parts for that. Metal wares. Um, we can't extend this road yet for some reason. Found a commodity pile. Show me the way. Yeah, we're not allowed to grab. We're not allowed to investigate that. Send the soldiers out here. Okay, so um, we can't extend this road. Which I guess is fine, you know, whatever. We can send traders out here. Where's our next batch of traders? Uh, that's right, L1. No, so L1, deselect. L1, available traders. Nearest traders in Athens. Uh, let's see. Sell fish. 40 a unit. This is, fur is actually cheaper here. Well, not that price. Uh, buy linens. Yeah, buy linens. So sell the, sell the meat, obviously. Buying linens. Yep, we're buying linens. Fill the cart full of linens. We go to Thessaloniki. Sell some crap there, and then go down to wool honey. Uh, let's see. Some first. Good enough. We're making money. Buy more meat. It's always worth something when we sell it. Gotta sell these first. Some, gotta sell this linen somewhere else. Uh, fill up the cart with fish, it looks like. Yep, always fill up the cart with fish. You can help it. Going to wool, honey. With pleasure. Is Vlor still at war with us? We'll have to send a... We'll have to send a can we send soldiers down there? Let me check. Send them to a foreign city. Send that build squad to a foreign Let's city. Go. See if we can make a trade deal with them. I want to say we cannot. Good day. Yes, we can. What's okay, that's good. Discuss? Submit an offer. So we already have a trade agreement. So we can send build, build units for trade agreements. And we're, we're going to beat the bears. Duh, bears. Uh, we, I thought we could get here. Oh, they're not talking to us. Let's go. So let's investigate. Uh, wool honey, L1. Uh, trade town. Okay. So we got plenty of honey we can start selling. Fur's gone. Meat's gone. Linens are mostly gone. Yeah, we're selling these. We're keeping these for ourselves. I might, I might just, I kind I wish, I, I wish I can just tell people don't buy our stuff. I could literally, like, don't use this. We're storing it. Don't use it. I don't think I have that choice. It's like, do not use these ever. Get out the bricks. Uh, I keep forgetting to sell, to bring the bricks down here. Um, did we sell the fish already? 